embarrassing moment was when I um <laughs> so bad. This is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. 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 I'm gonna come back to that question. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Princess Rennie here and you are on my channel. <laughs> Um, that was so awkward, but yes, um, I kind of have my channel in the background, as you guys can see, it's kind of what it looks like um, on the TV. Um, and well, I decided that today would be a perfect day for you guys to get to know me a little better. I know I, re I, know I recorded a get to know me tag um, the first time I created this channel, like in 2018, but I did realize that you guys don't truly know me and um, I know you guys have a lot of questions like what's her actual name and things like that. So I would love to answer some of those questions and I'm going to tell you guys um, 50 facts about me. My name is Renata, but a lot of my friends call me Renny. My zodiac sign, I actually don't really believe in like zodiac or anything like that, but based on my birthday, I am considered a Leo. Um, nicknames, you guys already know, Renny, um, Nato, which is my family nickname, uh, Ren, Ren Ren, Roro, uh, <laughs> uh, Naughty. <laughs> So bad. Three things that I love: chocolates, uh, surprises, and um, children. I love kids. Fears: anything that creeps and crawls and could possibly fly. Last song I listened to was actually by one of the youth from my church. Um, her and her dad were actually singing. GPA I honestly don't remember <laughs> Just click this and you'll probably be able to guess what my GPA was another hidden talent I can paint like really well and um, some of the paintings that I've done I actually have in my apartment that whenever I do the apartment tour I'm gonna share it with you guys but I do remember sharing some pictures of it on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure that you go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'm gonna link it right here. I eat today. So I have been slacking today. Honestly, I ate a lot of junk for the most part. Like whenever I wake up and I'm like really in a zone and like I have all these things that I wanna get done, um, I tend to not really think about food and that's probably why I'm so skinny. And once I finish it, I just like binge and like basically make up for all the weight that I just lost from not eating. Um, my favorite color is yellow have two siblings, two older brothers, and I'm the only girl. Favorite vacation was um, when I went on my solo trip to Atlanta. The reason I started making YouTube videos was because a lot of my friends were requesting like natural hair tips and you know, how do you style your hair? How do you cut your hair? All these things. And I was doing some recordings on Instagram itself, but I realized that was just too much to keep up with. And I felt like I needed a separate platform to just show those to you guys. But I didn't want my videos to just be about my natural hair and not give you guys substance. So I sprinkle in a little bit of Jesus every now and then because, you know, he is the reason that I am who I am today. And I hope you guys enjoy those videos just as much as you love my natural hair videos. Dream vacation. I've always said that I want to go to Cayman Islands. There we go. Why am I forgetting? I'm thinking of St. Vincent. I'm thinking of St. Kitts. I don't know, but I guess I just want to get out. <laughs> like when all of this is over, I just want to go away somewhere warm where there's the lovely beach, blue water, the sun is just shining on me and lots of coconut water, lots and lots of coconut water. And you know, the ones that you chop up the coconuts and you eat all the jelly. Yes. Um, something I really want at this moment is to finish decorating my apartment. So as many of you guys already know, I am a teacher. Um, I teach at an, uh, <clears throat> I teach in an elementary school, um, first grade. So yeah. The meaning behind my channel name is that I am a princess. You know, I'm a child of God. 
So my daddy is a king, you know, my heavenly father is the king. And because I'm his child, I'm a princess and my nickname is Rennie. So Princess Rennie for you, there we go. Uh, my favorite movie, honestly, I love Matilda. Matilda is such an amazing movie. It's about this little girl that um, she's growing up in this home with this like family that doesn't really care about her, doesn't really pay her much attention, but she has like this hidden skill where she can move things with her eye. My favorite song as of right now is, it's this song, I think it's by Jesus Culture, and it basically starts off like, My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. And then they go in, yes, you are. Okay, <laughs> I love that song because um, it's just like an amazing worship song. Like you're saying, God is like the most beautiful. Like he is just so amazing. And you're just like saying all of him and then you're just saying his name over and over, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Um, I love that. I love songs that talk about the beauty of God and the amazing things that God does, even if it's just something that's repeated and repeated and repeated, because we know that God never gets tired of our worship. And you can literally just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Like continuously. And he would love that. He would think it's the most amazing thing because it's genuine and it comes from your heart. I don't have a favorite band, do I? Song. I love Whitney Houston so much. Childhood dreams was to go to a Whitney Houston concert and like see her in person. So yeah, that was shattered. Shattered my little 11 year old heart <laughs> when I heard that she had passed away. So yeah. But if I was to sing one of her songs, it would be, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Can't mess with my girl Whitney. All of her songs, all of her songs are like amazing, amazing. Three things that upset me. So number one, people that underestimate me or assume things about me. People always think I'm like either really mean or like way too nice and naive and like, no. So underestimating me and not really know who I am. People that think I am too young to know certain things or to experience certain things. Um, I've had that where like older people would pretend like, oh yeah, you got nothing to stress about. You're fine. Like, you know, you're still young. You shouldn't have anything to stress over. Or like, you don't know about this topic because you haven't lived long enough. Like, no. And people who make promises that they can't keep. I am years old. My birthday is August 14th. By the way, if you're still watching my fun facts and you haven't subscribed, like, what are you doing? Take a second, go ahead and subscribe. It costs you nothing. It's free 99. Um, you could click on my face here, but you're gonna see my face somewhere on the bottom of the screen. Just hover over it if you're on your computer and you're gonna be able to subscribe if you're on your TV. You should be able to see the subscribe button um, and if you're on your phone obviously just scroll down a little bit on the video and just like subscribe on the right hand side like right there is this your right you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah just go ahead and subscribe because you're obviously enjoying this do you think that make me happy chocolates um FaceTime calls for my goddaughter and just spending time with family and friends the last movie I saw in the theater was that movie with Issa Rae, it was the movie on Valentine's Day. The Photograph, there we go. That was the last movie I went to see before all this. Someone that I really miss is my aunt. Um, she was very close to me and I loved her dearly. And I definitely miss her so, so much. Someone I love, I love God. You love God, what's wrong with you? Hey, have kids? Nope, I have a goddaughter. Well, I have godchildren, I claim. Most of my friends' kids, I just claim them all as my godchildren. So I have godchildren. Um, my official goddaughter um, is my lovely, lovely Melody. I don't know if you guys are ever gonna see her, but last night, I think I got eight hours of sleep. I don't remember exactly when I fell asleep, but I know I woke up around like eight, nine-ish. Like I didn't wake up as early as I usually do on a Saturday. So I believe I got eight hours of sleep, which is amazing. I could do a round off and a front walkover, but I forgot how to do a cartwheel. 
So I have to reteach myself that. It's weird because a cartwheel is easier than a round off and a walkover, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, a book I could read over and over and over and over and over again is Michelle Obama's Becoming. I feel like that book is timeless and there's so many lessons that I've learned from reading that book about like having one plan for your life and I talk about this a lot on my channel and like seeing it turn. I really don't want this want to make this video too long for you guys so I'm trying to get through it like really fast okay. My favorite animal is um puppy. I really want a puppy but I don't have any pets right now so I've lied about my age before I sometimes tell people that I'm 16 depending on like if you're walking down the street and a random guy's trying to talk to you like let's be real you would tell them like yo I'm 15 like you shouldn't be talking to me and then you keep walking right because you don't want them to <laughs> okay maybe it's just me but I've done that before um that's something I've lied about and I'm thing that's currently worrying me is the pandemic like I don't really know what's gonna happen um, I don't know if my kids are going to be able to come back to school, if I'm going to be able to go back to work. Um, that's something I'm really concerned about because I don't know what the education uh, system is going to look like after all of this. The last text message I got was um, a link that my friend sent me for pre-stretched braiding hair. I'm thinking of getting it from Amazon um, so that I can try other like braiding styles on my hair because I really want to keep this protective style thing going. Three bad habits I have. Are procrastinating I would spend time doing all these other things and not really focus on like what I really need to do um, binging on Netflix <laughs> is that a bad habit yeah binging on Netflix and eating lots and lots of junk food this is pre quarantine me like that's just how I was and this is how I am still my future goal I don't want to talk about that guys you guys know how future goals are like of course you have things that you want of course I want to have my own car um, eventually want to have like a house and all these things like I want to have um, kids and things like that and of course be married but I don't want to talk about that like in the way that I sequentially plan it out because you know God has his plan I have my plan you can only hope that my plan is the same as his but his plans are greater than ours and his thoughts are you know yeah, so we're just gonna skip that. Favorite stores are, I love Shein, cause like it's affordable and it's cheap. <laughs> affordable and cheap, right? Yeah, both of those. Um, Amazon, is that a store? It's an online store, so I like Amazon. Um, let's see what else. Shein, Amazon. I like other stores, but like not as much as Shein and Amazon. My favorite food of all time is roti and curry, and I really need to learn how to make that, like, ASAP. Like, I have all the time now, I need to learn how to make that. My celebrity crush will always be Idris Elba. I mean, have you heard that accent? <laughs> My idea is of a perfect date is anything that's super spontaneous. I like that when things are so planned out, and it seems like it's not actually planned out, like, you know, okay, we're gonna go here, but I'm not telling you where we're going, right? And then, <laughs> like, this is just hypothetically, the guy comes to pick you up and it's like, we're going to go somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where we're going. And then we go. And then all of a sudden, wherever we are, like, there's options. Like, we go to a mall. There's an option to watch a movie. There's an option to go eating. There's an option to go shopping and all that stuff. And it just seems spontaneous because it's like, what do you want to do first? And in their head, we're doing all of them, but it's whatever you want to do first, you know? Or, like, if we're going on a picnic and then maybe going on a walk on the beach, like, options spontaneity like let's do different things not just sit down and eat or not just go watch a movie and then that's it like i don't know i like variety something i am good at is talking <laughs> through like this in class like all right guys so <laughs> and i just like hey let's take a break let's dance and then, all right let's get back and then we come back and it's like Great. Um, my favorite YouTube channels are my girl I am Treya. Love her. Met her at Curl Fest, and we're like best friends in my head. I'm kidding, but like we're we're cool in my head. Uh, she comments on my like Instagram and like my stories and stuff. Yeah, so we're like friends. <laughs> um, my other favorite is Kimberly Sherell. Um, and of course my girl Patricia Bright. Like I love her so much. And Jackie Aina. And Jackie Aina. So Patricia Bright, Jackie Aina. Um, I am Treya and Kimberly Sherell. Yeah. The best way to spend my day off is lounging on my couch, eating all the food that I want to eat, you know, whatever I'm in the mood to eat, and not having to do anything. 
that's it. So if I choose to watch YouTube videos, if I choose to be on Netflix, like I can do that because there's no plans. I'm free. My favorite cereal is Honey Bunches of Oats. I like the one with almonds. I also like the chocolate. I also like the strawberry. Wow, I like all Honey Bunches of Oats cereal. Yeah. But I like it when it has something in it, not just the plain one. It needs to have like almonds or a chocolate or the strawberry. So that's my favorite cereal of all times. Something that I would like to learn is um, I want to get more into photography and um, I definitely have kind of started, like I have my camera and my ring light, but I definitely want to get more into like learning different um, like lens and how to use them and certain angles and things like that. I have not learned how to make bread yet. That's something that I'm hoping to learn this summer as well. My favorite book right now so far is um, this book called Emotionally Healthy Spirituality by Peter Scazzaro, I believe his last name is. And it's just about um, Christianity and how there's this stigma with how Christians are supposed to always be happy and supposed to like, you know, not think negative thoughts or not be worried about certain things, but that's actually not true. Like we do, we are human. So we're gonna have these kind of thoughts about like our lives and like maybe we don't like the way things are going. We're not always gonna be happy every moment of the day and so on. And it's not for us to feel bad or like bring ourselves down. Like, oh, I'm not Christian because I'm doubting or I'm not Christian because um, I'm fearful of something or I'm not Christian because um, I'm unhappy with how this thing is like book it talks about like therapy and like how Christianity is so like against therapy and that's like the old way of thinking like oh you have a demon in you you have this you have that but no like we actually have thoughts we actually have emotions that we need to work through um, and beliefs that you know might be true or might not be true that we need to work through so um, yeah like being emotionally healthy um, will eventually um, bleed into your spirituality and your closeness with God. I went on a ramble. I should really, really be paid to promote this book. Okay. In fact, the things that I talk about and share with you guys are obviously things that I really am passionate about and I really care about. I wouldn't bring it to you if it wasn't something that was of interest to me. So I thank you guys for like watching my channel and like really being invested in it um and like the videos that i'm sharing because it's not something that i'm just like oh let me just whip this together and share it with them like i really think about it i really like oh um is this something that i'm really passionate about before i even bring it to you guys so you oh yes the embarrassing moments <laughs> fifth or sixth grade i'm not remembering the exact grade right um my crush at the time had <laughs> it was so corny he had gum and he was basically giving it out to like some of the cute girls like they were like can i have and like he would give it to them and they like you know we're obviously flirting with him over gum i know but basically he gave it to them and i was like you know i'm not one of like the cute girl crew or whatever but i'm gonna ask him and see if he gives it to me so can i have and he's like oh sure and <laughs> I was like, oh, like I was really feeling myself. I was like, oh, that means I'm one of like the cute girls or whatever in his book, right? Whatever. So I got the gum. This is the embarrassing part. I got the gum and I was just like, so like, <laughs> this is so creepy. But I was just like, oh wow, he thinks I'm one of the cute girls. And I just started like chewing the gum and I was like staring at him. Um, Cause I was like, oh, he thinks I'm cute. And I'm chewing like this. This is not how I chew by the way, but I was just chewing, I was like, Ooh, you think I'm cute. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Jerul comes out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, so yes, let me remember. I don't think he saw it. Like he was just like looking at me and then he kind of like looked away, but I don't know if he looked away right before that came. It wasn't a lot, but it was still embarrassing because I was just like, oh my God. Oh no, I'm not one of the cute girls anymore. <laughs> So that was one of my really embarrassing moments. Like, what? Who does that? Like, chew gum properly. What is wrong with you? I believe that's 50 fun things about me. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys love these 50 fun facts about me that you haven't, um, that you might have not known before. <clears throat> I hope it helped you to get to know me a little bit better. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And remember to share this video, like it, and... Uh, Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
Havana, na na na, hey, hey, oh, mm, 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 mm. Havana, na na na. All right, um, I obviously did a lot of dance party with the kids while we were in school. I definitely, that's one of my favorite things to do with them, and that's one of the songs that we liked dancing to. So, uh, just dance, kids. You know, that's that's where it's at. 